Good morning from day 10. 7 a.m. and we are all packed up. Just getting the last of our bits together. Quads has already um, left at like 5 a.m. It's his birthday today and he wanted to get in a big hike. So he's going to actually hike to Scissors Crossing. And then he's going to hitch into town or whatever, wherever and get us a bunch of fresh water so we have water when we get there. So last night I slept pretty good. I still got a bit of a cold, but it's actually feeling a lot better today. So yeah, we want to get out of here really like quickly here so we can, we have 15 kilometers or so to hike today. And we want to try to not get stuck in that brutal afternoon heat like we've been doing. So yeah, happy day. So we've hiked eight kilometers so far this morning. We're just taking a break. Not sorry, rigged up this tie back here. So we've got some shade. It's a doozy. It's already almost 25 degrees out. But, hang on. Look at this view. <laughs> and that sneeze. <laughs> We're getting close to Scissors Crossing. We're probably maybe an hour out. But look at the landscape, it's like totally flattened out. Which is good because I just read the temperature and it was 30 degrees. So like 90 degrees and it's only shortly after 10 in the morning maybe 10 30 quarter to 11. so the climbs were starting to get hard i have my umbrella back out oh the sweat is still pouring off my face though but my umbrella is back out this thing you know i read so many people go you're going to regret bringing an umbrella you're going to hate it you're going to throw it in the first hiker box you see i don't think so this thing's coming to Canada with me. Especially in like two days, I think we're supposed to be getting some rain, so it'll be even nice then. All three girls that are hiking together, we all three of us have our umbrellas out, so we're trying to come up with a good name for ourselves. Anyways, we're gonna wait out at Scissor, Scissors Crossing for a couple hours this afternoon. It's like a underpass or overpass, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna wait out in the shade, wait out the hot heat of the day, probably have a meal there and then hike on once it starts to cool off a bit and find a place to camp for the night. There's so many cool cactuses here. Like they're all over the place. And these yucca plants, which there's another cactus. These yuccas are like little swords that stab you. There was already a guy that had to go home from the trail because he fell into a cactus and had like 300 cactus spines in him and had to go to the hospital so he's like nope that's enough for me it's just a few minutes past 12 we've hiked 15 kilometers so what's that nine miles we're just coming up to the underpass and this morning there was 20 gallons of water under here I am really hoping there's some water still. So I've only got about a liter left. It's also 40 degrees out in the heat now. I have a thermometer on my pack. So that's 110 Fahrenheit. We're gonna camp out under here for a couple hours in the shade. And yeah, so there's a bunch of other people under here too. Woot woot, we made it. Look at all this water! Yeah! Birthday boy's been here for a few hours. Happy birthday! <laughs> Apples and oranges under here. I've never been so happy to eat an apple in my life. Mm. The professor found us again. He's giving us a ride down to Stagecoach where we're going to stay for the night. Woot woot. It's 91 degrees out. And there's a shot of swimming pool. How's that ice cream? But it doesn't have the... It's delicious. How's your ice cream, Vince? It's nice. It's so good right now. So, we are all clean and showered. Some people have gone down to the pool, but I don't want to go in the pool and be all chlorine -y. I'm all nice and clean. It's 
20 after 5. We haven't set up our tent yet because it's still pretty hot out here. We're gonna, after everyone's done swimming, we're gonna throw in a load of laundry, wash all our clothes up, then probably make some dinner when the sun goes down. And our ride's coming at 7 a.m. to pick us up to drop us back at Scissors Crossing tomorrow. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna have any more updates for the day. Oh, where'd I go? There I am. So my gratitude for the day today definitely was, it was Quad's birthday and he, as a birthday treat, arranged this campsite for us for the night so we could all have showers and do our laundry and have ice cream and all that stuff. So he gave us a gift on his birthday. So I'm grateful for the friends that I've made out here.